Hello, I'm Yvonne, a tutor at the Cotswold Academy, and today I basically want to go through you, with you just how to release the breath. So deepen the breath, slow the breath, uh, engage the diaphragm, and just generally help us to breathe better. We all breathe, obviously we breathe every day, but we don't breathe particularly well. And what we need to learn to do is to breathe deeper and to breathe less. So with the reflexology, I'm going to help us to do this. I mean, modern day society, the way that we work now, a lot of us are anxious, we take very shallow breaths, so we don't really expand our thoracic area, we don't really get our bodies to relax properly. And think of yourself when you're in the office or you're checking your emails, you're distracted all the time. And what we tend to do is actually hold our breath. So you could be holding your breath throughout the minute, you know, checking your emails, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, writing notes, but not really concentrating on any one thing. When you're doing that, you're holding your breath. So maybe check that next time you're working like that or ask your clients. That's actually what your body does then is it thinks that it's in an emergency state. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm suffocating. I haven't got enough air coming in. So it tells you to take short, very quick breaths to get the air in. So this is okay, temporary measure, but actually when you're, you know, if you're doing that all the time, basically all the fascia around your thoracic area, your rib cage, your pectoral muscles, the intercostal muscles, and the diaphragm get really, really tight and they're not expanding properly. So in this practice with the reflexology, I just want to go through techniques that help us to deepen the breath. So some of it will be controlled breathing with our client um, and just show them how to just expand the diaphragm. But we can also help that through the techniques we use on the feet as well. And they say the optimum breath to get a resting breath is about five, 5.5 breaths per minute. But a lot of people breathe up to about 20 breaths per minute. So we're over breathing. And again, but they're short breaths. So we need longer breaths, deeper breaths, and more efficient breaths where we're lifting our diaphragm. So learning to lift our diaphragm up into our thoracic area, into our rib cage, and then really expanding it down into our, into our abdomen. A lot of the time we think about the in-breath a lot, but we don't really concentrate on the exhale. And on the exhale, that's where your rib cage, I mean, your diaphragm comes right up into your rib cage to push out the air. So you really want to get rid of the stay there before you take in the in-breath. Um, and then through doing that, when you control the breath, so you're doing about, each breath's about five seconds in, five seconds out, so 5.5 in. So it's about 5.5 seconds per breath in and out. So 5.5 in a minute, so it all works out quite nicely. But whilst you're doing that, when you're controlling the breath, you're overriding this fight or flight response, which is great because then it teaches the body to relax, it engages the vagus nerve, um, and that in turn tells our lungs and tells our breathing rate to relax. And then of course we get a much steadier breath and the whole body relaxes. So that's what we're gonna go through with today. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna do that with you now. So I'm gonna start off, I've done my warm up already. Uh, and what I've done, I've added, from an aromatherapy, so I've added uh, four drops of frankincense essential oil, which is really good for meditation, for deepening the breath, for focus. So we're putting that into the blend as well. So I put it into the Essence System Monty blend and just work that into the feet. And then of course that's going to help with that routine that we're going to learn as well. So I've done my relaxation, I've done the opening up of meridians, we're all set to go. So now I'm going to ask my client for the moment, to do some breath work. So basically I'm asking to breathe in for six and then hold for four and then exhale for eight, a little pause and repeat. And we can do that for six times. So what I'm doing, I'm just expanding the length of breath, particularly the exhale, because we tend not to push all of the air out. So it's really lifting your diaphragm up into your body. But whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna be working on the feet as well. So I'll go through that first. My lovely client here will help with that. All right, so I'm just going to place my thumbs on the diaphragm on the solar plexus area. And then if you can just take that nice, slow, deep breath in. So we've got about six, just hold it for a moment. And then just really slowly breathing out for count of eight. So really pushing the diaphragm. So as I'm breathing out, she's breathing out, I'm pushing up in the diaphragm as if I'm pushing that air out. That's good, have a little relax. And then, so to begin with, it might be quite difficult for your client to focus on doing this because it's not what we do very often. So again, breathing in. So just relaxing in the diaphragm, solar plexus, holding for four, and then we'll breathe out for eight. Breathing in for six. And four. 
just four. And then breathing out smoothly for eight. And do one more. Breathe in. Just use a really relaxed breath to see if the belt's breathing in and breathing out. And what you'll find so at the moment, the feet are quite tight through the respiratory area. So once I've relaxed and worked around all the upper area here, up thoracic and through the, the lung, the diaphragm, pectoral muscles, intercostal muscles, my hope is now that at the end of that, this when I do the practice again or the breathing practice, it will show that the lungs have started to relax and it's all much more relaxed in the thoracic area. As I was doing, I'm just going to ask my client a question. How did you feel any restrictions in your body? And it was just quite tight. It was quite, you could feel it quite tight in the chest as you try and breathe. So we'll do it at the end and see if people are going to feel it. Right. There we go. So I'll go on to the next thing. Okay, so we're going to continue now. So the breath that your client's been doing, imagine it like a wave, you know, so a wave coming in onto the beach, pausing, and then rolling out. It should be a nice continuous breath. But now we're going to go on, so we're going to start on relaxing the diaphragm. So you might have done these techniques before. So we can do the solar plexus. So we can push into the solar plexus. So release on that, all that lovely nervous tissue. And also all through the lung area, that's all to do with your emotions on the body energetically too. So if there's lots of emotions, you know, hanging in the body, then that could be more constrictive of the, the breathing techniques as well. So we're going to do the diaphragm walk, come across, go both ways. What I like to do going the other way is fold in on each of those little points. It gets a stronger pinpoint into the diaphragm. So you can come across sideways or you can fold the toes over as you go along the diaphragm. So what I'm feeling here is actually tension in the diaphragm. It's restrictive. You know, here, and my client mentioned that it was quite restricted when she took her breath. So we want that to try and change the walk in the diaphragm. But then what we're going to do, we've got to remember the diaphragm goes through and through. So also, we'll find like a little ridge on the top on the dorsal side. So we're going to work that area as well. So we're going to come across all of here with our finger walking. So working across the rib cage, intercostal muscles to the words, the sternum, the pectoral muscles, and then tucking up into the diaphragm. So starting on the lateral edge of the body, coming across and then walking down in just little circles or you can hold and press just on that ridge, coming across, pushing down. So you're really getting all the muscles of that area to start to relax. Quite bobbly as I'm going across, I can feel the tension coming through and through. Going across and down, falling down into that diaphragm into there to the center so you're working down the sternum and then tucking up on this side so you've covered all the area of the chest area the front there when I do body massage work there's a technique I do for releasing the diaphragm where you actually do tuck in underneath with the fingers in the diaphragm with the breath to release the breath so this is similar to doing that Then just a little loosen. So metatarsals up and down, just loosen that up. We can do some metatarsal rolling. We can do some stretching. Imagine this is just stretching out all of your pectoral muscles, stretching out the chest. And then what we're going to do is engage all the muscles that help us and all the organs of the respiratory system. So we're going to start with the nose, just on top of the toe here in the face area. Pinpointing on the nose. And we're going to follow the breath, go down through the trachea, through the bronchial tube, and then connecting into the lungs. And then just walk up through the lungs. Again, if you feel any tension bubbles, any reflexology crystals, just fold the feet down too. So then it's less pressure on your thumb joint. You're using the foot to bring the pressure in. Working all through 
in the lung area. And then I also want to just clear the sinuses too. So working on those areas. We're just gonna walk up and down, like going up and out and down the other side. Up and down. So you're covering all the surfaces, eyes and ears, and the sinuses as well. Make sure you work up the plantar side right to the tip of each toe. And then we also want to drain the top. So just little circles and finger walking on each of the toes. So circles, finger walking, and just some drainage circles. Moving down, a little bit of drainage for the whole respiratory system. So draining on the dorsal and then draining underneath as well. This one feels lovely, like I say, that drains really well. Drain through the eustachian tube, eustachian tube coming across here and draining down through. So then what we want to do, so we worked all the different organs of the respiratory system and the muscles surrounding the respiratory system. So basically releasing the tension so the body can take a nice deep breath in. I then want to work down the spine, but particularly the upper thoracic area, and then into T3, because that's the one that starts to engage on your on the lungs. So we're just going to walk down from here. So do your count, you can count down the seven cervical, and then onto the thoracic. So one, two, three, I really want to pause on, and then you can continue all your thumb walking all the way down the lower spine. So you can do that a few times, walk down the spine, walk up the spine. It's T3 area you want you to concentrate on when you're releasing the breath like this. And then to finish off this set, I want to do some linking. We've done linking before. So I'm going to link the T3 with the vagus nerve, set up in here, with one hand. And on the other hand, I'm just going to do a through and through link from the solar plexus diaphragm and the top of the diaphragm to on the dorsal side. So this just opens up the line of communication between all of them. And this is what I want. When we do deep breathing, it engages your vagus nerve to activate the parasympathetic nerve. And that in turn will help to deepen your breath, relax the breath. So we can get them to communicate. That's going to be a lot better. So we've relaxed everywhere. We're now just going to have a good, good old chat between all the different parts. So sometimes you'll feel like a little pulse coming through or it can feel like a wave with the client, like a wave of energy. So there's no pressure, just a hold. And then finish off that area. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to finish with the same techniques that we used to begin with, with the solar plexus and the breathing, breathing in and breathing out. So what I've just done, I'm just sorry, worked done the work on this foot and I've repeated exactly the same on the other foot. So what I want to do now, you can do your closing movements if you've got closing movements. But what I'd like to do now is just check the breath again. So doing the same exercise we were doing before. So we were breathing in for six, so really breathing in through our chest, expanding our chest all the way down into our abdomen and then pausing for four. And then we're going to get our client to breathe out slowly for eight to extend the out breath. So really pushing the diaphragm up into the body. So basically just using that diaphragm more to breathe up in and breathe out. Um, now that we've relaxed everywhere in the thoracic area, it should be easier for our clients to do this. So it's a regular thing that they could also do themselves at home, doing the breath work. All right, so here we go. So if you can do that breath in for me. And hold. Four, and then slowly breathing out, so just breathing out and pushing it into the diaphragm to help push out all the air. Well done, and then breathing in, one, two, three, four, and six, holding for four, pushing out. So again, I'm helping you just push through into that diaphragm. As if, imagine as if I'm, you know, visualizing pushing out through the diaphragm, helping that push out. And then breathing in. And just 
just do this one more time. Hold them for four. And then breathe it out. relax to its regular breath. So when you finish your reflexology, just with the aftercare for your client, it's just nice to, um, you know, help them to keep doing that at home. So practicing this in-breath, out-breath, it should be a bit like the exercises that we do, you know, our stretching or going to the gym, going for a run, um, you know, going for a swim. It should be part of our daily routine is also exercising the diaphragm and all those muscles and relaxing the muscles. So part of your daily routine, like a five minute of breath work, is going to be incredible for everybody. I'm just going to ask my client how that felt the second time through. So how was it the second time? Much little, easier. Yeah. Much easier. Yes. Good. Yeah, you can feel the difference, which is nice. Yeah. So yeah, just doing it regularly with your clients. And yeah, this should help your clients to override that feeling of stress in their body. Really good for clients that are experienced, you know, that being overwhelmed, they're busy, they're not relaxing very well, they feel that those clients that say, oh, it doesn't feel like I can take a breath, this is what it's good for. And yeah, particularly clients that I found that are experiencing grief, they gasp for air more than take a lovely long deep breath. So learning to engage that parasympathetic nervous system, which is what we really want. So yeah, have a go and let us know how you get on. Give us some info. Cheers, bye.